Hey everybody, I'm Nathan Crane. I'm Derek Crane. And this is Motivation Monday. So obviously if you're a human being, you've probably experienced depression at some point, right? I mean, I've, I've been depressed different times in my life. Uh, there was a time last year, actually around this time, um, after something, I had a huge project I'd been working on to really serve the community uh, for quite a while, over a year and a half at that point, put in all my savings, all my time, all my energy, all my love, and it was a huge success in terms of how it uh, helped people, it was a huge financial devastation. And, and that ended up hurting people. And I ended up in depression for about two weeks after that. And, um, and, and I recognized it and followed these steps we're gonna share with you and I was able to get out of it and completely change my life for the better and move forward even under some of the hardest challenges and circumstances and uh, a very challenging uh, depression mm -hmm. that I went through. Um, went through all that and was able to come out of it a totally better, what I would consider a more whole person. And so we want to share with you today, I know that if you're going through depression um, or you know someone's going through depression, it's, it's challenging, it's tough, and you don't want to be there for very long. And there are ways to get out of it. There are ways to change it. You don't have to be depressed. That's the main thing, right? So true. Step number one is, is even being able to recognize that you are depressed. Right. So flowing through the energy and being depressed and like just, and you're feeling sad and, and you're going through that flow and suddenly, suddenly you just kind of have that aha moment where you can take a step back and, and see the energetics of it so that you're not just flowing through it. It's kind of like taking third perspective of your own self. Right. And when, once you're able to recognize it, then you have the capability of being able to do something about it. Exactly. Recognizing is so important and that's just being aware. Like I didn't know that I was depressed mm. last year, right? It took me maybe a week and I started asking questions. What's going on with me? Why do I feel so negative? Why am I sad? What's going on? And then it clicked. It was like, oh, I'm depressed, uh, right? And so if you, it, whether it's you or a loved one or a friend or family member, you have to recognize that you're depressed or they're depressed. The second step is acceptance, right? Yeah, so true, accepting. So that means that, means that you're actually taking that's a form of action when you're able to accept that you're depressed. So then, so then once you see it, you, you take that third perspective, and then in, in a sense you acknowledge it and, right. and you own it. Yeah. Because right? you're not now now you're not like you're not going. I'm depressed. Okay, I'll just force myself to be happy, right. and, I, and I'll put this depression over here, and then you're still feeling depressed and you're still trying to force yourself to be happy. No, dive into it. Dive into it. See, see the root of it. You know, like accept it. It's, it's okay. Right. It's, it's exactly. okay to not feel okay. Right. In a society where we're taught as children to, you know, to always be a certain way, it can, it can feel like you have to be happy. You have to be joyful. But it's okay to not be okay. Exactly. And then once, once you're able to accept that and own it. Then the transformation happens. Yeah, I mean that's not even trying. Yeah, that's the big thing, right? Is don't deny it. Yeah. You know, and you might have a loved one who maybe they are depressed and they're denying it, and and you know you need to open up communication with them and start asking what's going on in a loving way and be patient and kind or with yourself too. What's going on with me? How how am I feeling this way? And if you're okay now, I'm depressed. I accept it exactly. Don't push it away, don't deny it, don't try to lie to yourself about it, you know, don't hide it. Someone asks you, you know, honestly, when people start asking me or I even start talking about it, myself, it's like, you know what, I recognize I'm, I'm depressed and, you know, I'll come out of it, I'll be okay, but I'm just going through this internal, you know, challenge right now, these emotions, this sadness, and, you know, talking about it with someone that you can trust is huge, yeah. you know, it's just, like you said, acknowledging it, but then don't get attached to it. You know, yeah. someone might, you know, get attached to it as, as a new crutch to say, things aren't going well in my life for the last six months because I've been depressed for six months. And it's yeah. like, no, do not get attached to it, but also don't hide from it, don't deny it. Yeah. You know, the next step is now move into, let's transform, let's transmutate that depression into positive energy. And that takes awareness and it also takes action, right? Yeah. And within that action, you can actually just take the physical steps and even right. start a new exercise program. Exactly. Because if you're in a state of depression, you might just find yourself sitting around and then just kind of circulating those thoughts and whatnot. So then when you start taking 
physical action actually start moving. You're gonna start releasing good feeling chemicals. You're gonna start re releasing dopamine. Endorphins are gonna be released and you're, those good feeling chemicals and it's just gonna help propel you forward. Create a new type of movement. Create a new type of motion into a new energetic. It's so, so important. One of my uh, early spiritual mentors um, over a decade ago had told me, he said, you know, the fastest cure, the fastest way out of depression is movement. Mm -hmm. And it's so true. What Derek said about exercising, it's getting yourself to the gym, it's going for a run or a bike ride, it's mm -hmm. doing exercise three, four, even five days a week, even if it's light exercise, but getting your heart rate up. Why? Because you release endorphins, you release dopamine, you release serotonin, you release the feel-good chemicals in your brain that you're not getting by sitting there on the couch being sad and depressed. So literally, if you move, if you get out and start moving, exercising, get the blood pumping, get those good chemicals released, you will automatically start feeling better and then you'll start having more awareness around okay how can I solve this issue that's going on yeah. you know how can I overcome this challenge how can I get out of this depression how can I move forward how can I be better you start asking those questions when you're feeling good the answers will be a lot more clear to you than otherwise um, and so that's the physiology part you change your physiology you change your state of mind but then also if you change your state of mind you change your physiology yeah, which brings us right into the fourth and final step, which is reshaping your mind. So now, now you're diving into the physical practices, and now you can dive into the mental practices. And one thing that you can do right away when you bring awareness into it, and, and you're sitting down or you're just moving throughout the day, and suddenly you start feeling maybe a little tense, maybe a little bit of anxiety, maybe that feeling of depression. You can take, you can take a moment in that moment and be like, okay, I'm feeling this, and then become present. Look at everything around you and see how much there is to be grateful for. Because when you bring in, when you bring in the practice of coming to a present state of, with gratitude, it'll naturally shift it without even, without even like trying to force to shift it. It's just reshaping the way that you see the world around you. Absolutely. So gratitude is a really powerful, positive thing you can do to reshape your mind. Being grateful for all the good little things. Also, you know, start reading positive books, start reading self-help books, listen to a motivational audio or video, free ones on YouTube if you want every single morning. Listen to Tony Robbins, Deepak Chopra, Oprah Winfrey. Listen to, you know, people who've gone through huge challenges in their life, huge depressions, huge things that, you know, some people will never experience and how they came out of it. Read those biographies, you know, read those books. Start fueling your mind with positive messages, with positive books with positive audios start focusing on the good things and what will happen is all of a sudden just like it happened to me like all of a sudden and I was doing all this last year during depression I started reading I started exercising I actually set a goal to train for my first ultra marathon and it was like that was one of the things that helped pull me out of it was I got into three to four days a week of running consistently started reading positive books again some audios all that stuff this stuff you probably know a lot of it's just now you've got to do it you got to remind yourself you need this reminder to do it because then all of a sudden it was like oh I'm out of Depression, like I didn't even know it, right? It was like a month later, it's like, oh, I feel great. And then all of a sudden, a few months later, I'm running my first ultra marathon and I complete it. It's like all of a sudden, I've achieved this huge goal, yeah. right? So, setting a good fitness goal, setting uh, whether it's a business goal, a relationship, or family goal, and using these positive ways of reshaping your mind, of getting your body moving to help you achieve those goals, even if it's a, even if it's a small goal. You know, but something that you can achieve it and then start feeling good about yourself. And, and your self-talk in this is so important. You know, reminding yourself that everything's going to be okay. You know, God, the Creator, universe, you know, uh, is going to support you along the way if you're taking these good actions. Remind yourself that, you know what, you are strong. You are brave. You have courage. You are wise. You are loving. No matter what you've done, you know, you can forgive yourself for that and move forward uh, into a good state of mind and, and be of service to humanity, to your friends and family and loved ones. And, you know, it's these steps that if you follow them, of exactly how, how we're sharing with you, and you actually take action every single day starting right now, uh, that depression will go away. It will be replaced with excitement and energy and passion once again. And that's what we want, right? So true. So very true.
Thank you guys for tuning in today. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button below. See you guys in the next video. Absolutely. If you know somebody that's depressed right now, share this video with them. Yeah. We want to help anybody that's going through depression to, to, to be able to overcome it. So share this with, with your loved ones and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.